One, two, three, four. Bunny doesn't have to work tomorrow. Bunny has a day off. Hello, welcome to Bunny the Good, the Bad, the Tarot. My name is Laura, and this is my channel. If you are a return visitor, subscriber, and patron of my channel, thank you very much for coming back. Uh, it's a pleasure reading for you. Um, also, if you are a new visitor, I'd like to extend a warm, a warm welcome. And uh, I do encourage uh, my audience to comment on my videos, provided that they contain constructive criticism or just to let me know that you resonated with the reading. Um, I just have a few quick announcements today. We are at the two last uh, signs of the zodiac for my channel for the love forecast for March. So for those of you who are Leos and Virgos, thank you for being patient. Um, it's taken me a little bit longer this month and uh, part of that is just production time. It takes with HD video, it can take like up to six hours to upload, uh, you know, uh, raw video and then to the internet without compression. And then, uh, of course, once I combine everything into uh, a cohesive uh, reading and then upload that, uh, it can take a couple more hours. So, um, as you can see, uh, uh, I am struggling, I would say, to get everything out at the same time, but this is uh, going to improve. That I know. And um, as I shifted over to HD, uh, I've learned a lot of things. And uh, I love the video quality, but I, I hate how long it takes to upload. So thank you for being patient. Uh, please know that um, uh, upload time is a factor for a lot of readers. and. Um, no one doubts that we can read, you know, we can go through and do 12 readings, um, but our own energy is a, is a factor as well as upload time. So uh, if ever you are wondering where, you know, where something is, just please know that it's, um, it's for a good reason. Uh, it isn't for, you know, a selfish reason or, or because we're, you know, we're trying to make, we're trying to draw this out longer than it, it should take. Um, it's definitely not that. But, um, so, uh, just a few quick announcements today, and, uh, that is, uh, I am continuing to do private readings, and thank you for those of you who have requested private readings from me. Um, this channel is not funded. Uh, I am going to be setting up a Patreon account, uh, due to, uh, a few, a few of my subscribers who have generously asked to donate. Um, I do have a donate button that I added recently. If you would like to, to... Uh, give a donation to my channel. Please know that uh, every cent of that goes towards uh, supporting the channel, uh, investing in new materials, whether that's candles, gemstones, cards, uh, giveaways, uh, sustenance, <laughs> that kind of thing. Um, None of it is wasted, and uh, it's very much appreciated and allows me to continue to do this as my profession. The other thing is uh, your private readings uh, allow for the most accurate reading because I'm simply focusing on your energy, and um, I'm not doing a general reading. So while general readings, uh, you can resonate with them, a private reading is absolutely focused only on you your energy, your issues, your problems, your uh, focus. And uh, there's there's no doubt about that. I mean, my spirit guides are communicating with your spirit guides. It's not thousands of people that kind whatever the strongest messages that want to come through, whose our spirit guides want to come through that day, uh, it may not be yours. But when I do a private reading, it's absolutely focused on you, and you'll know the difference. I and mean, you can ask people who've had private readings before. Um, you know, there there's a huge difference. So, um, I have information below this video. If you're interested in getting a private reading with me, 
um, prayer readings are done live over Skype or uh, you can also order a private YouTube reading. Um, they're 30 minutes and um, during that time I focus on you and your questions. Now, if we're doing a YouTube reading, uh, you can email me your questions. I answer up to three questions. If there's time for more, of course. Um, <clears throat> with the live Skype readings, you get to ask me questions and clarify during the reading. So, um, I book those 24 hours out unless there's an immediate opening that day. My Skype readings are done Monday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, email me to set up your reading, whether that's a, a, a Skype reading or a YouTube reading. Um, I don't have a website right now, so I book all of my readings over email. Um, my email is thegoodthebadandthetarotgmail.com, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can, uh, usually within 24 hours. Usually much sooner than that, <laughs> more like five minutes, so. Um, PayPal to thegoodthebadandthetarotgmail.com. So without further ado, um, let me get to your reading. Thanks a lot. Hello, welcome to The Good, The Bad, and The Tarot. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Virgo for the month of March 2016 going into April. This reading is good from the moment that you view it for uh, the remainder of this month going into April, so approximately 30 to 31 days. It could be more, it could be less, depending on your energies, your vibrations, where you fall astrologically. This is a reading for my Virgo suns, Virgo moons, and Virgo risings. This is a love reading. I'll be focusing on the love energies and messages that my spirit guides want to bring forward to me through these tarot cards. Uh, these cards have been pre-shuffled, uh, so I'm going to continue shuffling on camera here. Um, Spirit, what are the messages and energies that you have for Virgo? Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and Virgo Rising, and those on the cusp of Virgo. Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and Virgo Rising, and those on the cusp of Virgo. love messages that you have for Virgo, Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and Virgo Rising, and those on the cusp of Virgo. Okay, they're saying that they're ready to go. Messages for Virgo Spirit. one all the way up here. The, one, the runes that are upside down, I'm sorry, face down, I don't read those. They go back in the bag. Virgo, uh, I feel like a lot of you have a lot of, uh, are holding on to a lot of anxieties right now. I'm just getting, my stomach feels very um, tight. Kind of feel like I'm, I'm, I have tension in my body. 
So, uh, something to be aware of. Um, I really suggest doing some breathing exercises or relaxation. <clears throat> Try and relax your body. You have the Four of Pentacles reversed, crossed by the Five of Cups. What comes below you is the Six of Swords reversed. What comes above you is the Hair Font reversed. In your recent past, you have the Magician reversed. In the near future, you have the Nine of Wands reversed with a little rune here. Um, how you see yourself, you have the Queen of Swords reversed. I'm not surprised this card is coming up for you. In your environment, you have the Lovers reversed. Your hopes and fears are strength. Your outcome is the chariot. Okay. Um, very good. Let's begin. In your present situation, you have the Four of Pentacles reversed, which tells me that, Virgo, you are clinging to your possessions clinging to what you know, what you have, um, the things that you have acquired. Uh, you may be clinging to a person even. Um, when it's reversed, it tells me that though you keep your emotions tightly inside, they find a way of coming out. You may find yourself in the privacy of a with a with another friend or with a confidant or or in your the music you're listening to or in the, the you know whatever in conversation but you can't keep all of your feelings inside you can't bottle it up I also see that uh, you're trying to release something from your life uh, someone maybe or something but you're having a hard time doing that you have a hard, you have a hard time letting go Okay, so um, I feel that you are opening up, starting to open up this month, um, starting to release and to be more giving of yourself. You may even have a spending problem. You may be spending a lot of money, um, so watch out for that. But um. I feel as though you are trying to release something, but you are having a hard time doing that. And uh, if you try to keep your emotions bottled up, they are finding a way to come out. Your challenge is the Five of Cups. This is what's helping or hindering you. And the Five uh, of Cups talks about grieving over a loss. Okay, crying over spilled milk. Um, so you've suffered some loss um, and it's important to remember that though you have to let go of something precious to you, remember that all is not lost. You still have good things to look forward to, good things in, that are waiting for you. Uh, at least two, okay, at least two people or two things or two experiences or or um, you still have a lot of good in your life. Um, and so your challenge this month is this uh, sadness that you're feeling, overcoming that's this uh, despondency and this, this feeling sad about yourself or just being down, being down and out, you know, uh, being in the being in the pits and also I think it's tied into your finances I think there is a loss of money or a loss of security happening for you right now uh, fours do talk about your foundations um, the heart of the situation is the six of swords 
which talks about healing, uh, travel, moving away from psychological distress, right? When it's reversed, it tells me that you have a hard time uh, letting go of your past. You're having a hard time releasing someone from your past. You know that you need to look forward now and move. You need to move forward on your path of healing. Um, you are having a very hard time letting go of someone in your life or something in your life. Okay. Um, you may be stuck. Um, you're stuck here because you refuse to go through this grieving process. You very much need to go through this grieving process in order to release the past, in order to release this pain. <clears throat> in your recent past, you have the magician reversed. So this tells me a couple things. Uh, one, um, you probably, uh, and this may have been intentional or not intentional, but this is a major arcana card. So uh, major arcanas do talk about uh, larger energies, uh, bigger forces at work. So if I read this as just an energy, I can tell you this energy does not know how to direct its power. Uh, it has a lot of power to manifest and create. Um, it can bring heavenly gifts down to earth. Uh, divine gifts. Divine gifts. Music, uh, art, uh, science, uh, business. This, this card talks about all suits, emotions, pentacles, swords, wands, you know. And uh, as she points to heaven, she also points to earth, bringing the heavenly gifts, the divine gifts that our creator has bestowed upon us down to earth. Here she points down to earth and up to heaven. So um, it's a... It's like an abuse of power, you know, it's a manipulation of power. It's not using your talents, your resources, your God-given gifts for the right purpose, right? Um, this, can re this can result in um, not understanding our own talents, not putting them to good use, wasting our talents, wasting our time, wasting our and manipulating circumstances that don't need to be manipulated, that don't need to be, um, it's a blockage of, of divine energy. It's, it's a blockage of using our gifts and our talents for their highest good. Okay. So when we use our talents and our gifts, our spiritual gifts, our, our physical gifts and we understand that, that we were given them to us by our Creator to use in our highest good then uh, we can manifest that which we desire but you you have not been able to do that um, because you are unwilling to let go of material possessions you are unwilling to let go and just be. When you let go and you are, are willing to open up to the potentials uh, that the universe will bring into our lives, when you let things just happen and you will willingly give of yourself, when you let this pain and suffering flow through you and release it, then you can come out a new person then you will be reborn again and you can use your talents for their highest good and you will manifest that which you desire. Currently in your manifest position, this is what you may be thinking and feeling this month, but have not yet manifested. You have the uh, emperor reversed. 
okay so Virgo um, you may be thinking that you uh, you have toppled off of your throne someone you may feel like you've been dethroned or, or someone has uh, that you are losing your title or you're losing your position or uh, everything is very chaotic for you you know there are no rules uh, you've uh, I, I very much feel like you don't understand your own power and you are uh, you're starting to understand it but uh, and it's not about like being vulnerable for example is, is not about losing power okay opening up about your emotions is not about losing power it's about being strong on the inside and soft on the outside okay if you're a woman if you're a man it's about being strong on the inside uh, strong on the outside and soft on the inside strong wait, strong on what did I just say my dog's barking um, women are <laughs> strong on the inside and soft on the outside men are strong on the outside soft on the inside right that's the yin and yang of it and so uh, this very much is tied in with um, this little room here a loss of wealth okay you feel some of you uh, maybe um, undergoing some material security under losing some material security this month but um, you're letting it get to you, you know. Don't don't let it get to you. And um, in terms of being an authority figure, in terms of ruling your kingdom, you know, with an iron fist, um, you know, no one can move you from your position of control. If there is a loss of control, it's in your head. It's in your head. You feeling out of control, feeling like there are no rules, there's, there's just chaos. Um, that uh, you've tried to lay down the law, you've tried to tell people what to do and no one's listening to you. Um, but I feel like this is very much about you holding on so tightly and refusing to just let go. Just let go. It's as easy as that. And uh, realize that you are not losing anything. You are not losing any power. You are not losing any status. You simply need to let go so that you can heal and move forward on your path. In the near future, you have the Nine of Wands reversed, which tells me that you are. Uh, preparing to let down your guard uh, you still are you still have defenses up though uh, your defenses are up uh, you're reluctantly reluctant to let down your guard because of past experiences I, I see a contradiction here because to me the nine of wands reverse talks about shattering strength someone who is ready to give up uh, they've worked very hard and they've battled very long and they simply are a battle-worn so soldier that has just been through uh, hell and back and they very much want to give up but um, I'm being told a contradictory message by the runes here um, which is Uru's strength which tells me that you need to remain strong and persevere even when uh, you are at your weakest, when things seem totally chaotic, when you feel like you can't go on, or you feel like you are uh, uh, can no longer contain your emotions. Um, how you see yourself, you have the Queen of Swords reversed. 
I feel very much that you are cutting things out of your life or cutting something out of your life this month. You're quitting a job. You are uh, quitting a relationship. You are um, disengaging with some part of your life. And uh, while I don't see a major arcana like the Tower or the Ten of Swords, um, I feel that this is a voluntary action or behavior that you are doing. Um, you may be excessively demanding, cruel, or um, cutting with your words to someone around you. Um, you may just, this is how you're dealing with uh, other people right now. Um, you, you may just not have a lot of patience with them. You, you, uh, you may very much want to be alone at this time and uh, little things are getting on your nerves. Uh, you don't have the patience to deal with them and so you cut them out of your life. Um, and, and in some ways, it's it's kind of a self-sabotage maneuver uh, because if 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 they don't like you uh, and you cut them out, then it's it's one less person that you have to grieve over. That, you know, it's one less emotion that you have to spill because um, it's a it's a defensive maneuver, right? It's being defensive is what I'm seeing, but it isn't. Uh, I don't think benefiting you in the long run, I don't think it's helping you process your emotions effectively. And uh, I certainly see that in your environment you have the lovers reversed. So this is how your significant other is going to be dealing with you, how they view you. I very much see that uh, uh, Someone, uh, well, first of all, the lovers is, is an extremely powerful card. Uh, it does talk about partnership, a head or a heart decision. Um, and, um, I mean, this is definitely one of the trickier readings that I've done this month. And so I have to be very careful about how I interpret this card in this position. In your environment, I very much feel like there is a choice that has to be made and it is a head or a heart decision um, it may involve a soulmate someone that you know in your heart is a soulmate of yours um, certainly how this person sees you is a soulmate um, now when I look at how you're behaving, uh, you, first of all, are taking on the qualities of this queen who is very direct. She's very um, blunt, no nonsense, no bullshit. She, uh, she uses her sword to cut away. Uh, anything that is uh, superfluous, right? She eliminates. She, she, she's like the Queen of Hearts in uh, Alice in Wonderland, off with their heads, you know. Um, so, how your significant other sees you, well. Or in your environment, with the lovers reverse, uh, they 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 see you as uh, an unrequited love in their life, someone who very much is this is a soulmate or who has the uh, a lover, you know, the lover. Um, uh, but in this lifetime, maybe uh, this decision uh, that you've made with your head, uh, you've gone with your your mental facilities. You've you've relied on your your logic here and I don't think that it's if she was upright this is uh, someone who's logical and fair but I, I don't feel that you are being fair 
Virgo. I don't. And so they see that you are incompatible, that you are uh, an unrequited love, that you have chosen to forgo a great love in this lifetime. Why? Why is not apparent to me at this moment. I can only say that you are not necessarily being fair, nor have you been using your powers for good, for their highest purpose. And that is going to catch up with you eventually. That's something that you need to, you're going to, this is a lesson that you, you will be learning. If not this month, another month, another year. Okay, so uh, for now, this tactic may work. Um, your hopes and fears are strength, which just talks about control. You very much want to have control over the situation. You want to have control over, over the people in your life. You want, to, you want everything to happen the way that you want it to happen. You would like to tame this person like this woman is taming a lion. Like they're your little pet. Like they, you, you, you understand them and you can manipulate them and you can have them in the palm of your hand. This is what you want, right? Your outcome is exactly what you want, the chariot. Well, for now, I do see you moving forward. I do see you balancing and having control in the relationship. So you got what you wanted. You will get what you want. You will have the reins in this relationship and you can take this relationship or you can take this chariot wherever you want it to go because you are in the driver's seat. But remember, as a charioteer, you have a responsibility. Uh, you may be driving off very fast and leaving people in the dust. Um, and as we go from We're all dealing with about the same number major arcana here. We've got the six, the seven, the four, and the eight. Right? So uh, there is a progression here. And um, I see you gaining control. I see you being in the driver's seat uh, come April and uh, possibly traveling. There may be travel for you at the end of this month. But who or what are you cutting out of your life and why must you do it this way? Is it really helping you move on? And control, you know, I think that that's something that people could argue with you on, you know, whether or not you can really have control over someone and whether you really should have that much control over someone. I mean, in any relationship, it's equal, right? It's not just one person who's driving the relationship forward. You know, it's a shared responsibility. So, I'm not seeing too many, uh, wow, there are no cups cards here. Uh, for those of you who are not Virgos who are watching this and want mushy gushy information, I can tell you right now that Virgos 
are dealing with swords, wands, and pentacles this month with the only cups card being this five of cups, which means that they are currently, uh, their challenge is to deal with a loss. They're dealing with a loss. They're dealing with grief. They're dealing with uh, something that has very much saddened them, something that has made them sad. So um, it's not a romantic reading. Uh, it's a reading that looks to be dealing with outside forces and inside forces, but we are dealing with mental here, mental energies and, and physical energies. And uh, using brute force to control, getting control, gaining control of your life again, moving in the getting control of the reins of your life and steering it in the direction that you want to go in, even if at, by any cost, by any means, even if you have to cut people out of your life. That's kind of the, the type that's kind of the type of brute force that I'm talking about. There is a masculine energy coming through for me on this reading, even for women that may have a masculine energy. Uh, but uh, I'm looking for a spiritual mes a message here to guide my Virgos forward and to possibly offer clarification to this reading as it stands. Messages for my Virgos, my Virgo suns, Virgo moons, and Virgo risings. You show me uh, an oracle message from the spirit that will help guide my Virgos on their journey this month in love and romance and in life in love and life. Okay. Refusing to see. Okay, so this, this card does talk about um, opening up your third eye. You know, your intuition, your your third eye is connected to your crown chakra, activating your crown chakra. And blue, the blue cards with the blue border. Um, let me see if I can pull it up here. Okay, so the, yeah, the indigo border resonates with swords. So the blue border, the, this is a swords, resonates with the sword suit and the two of swords. So um, we did not get the two of swords in this reading, but I do ask for my oracle messages to complement the reading. Keywords are assess, decide, impasse, honesty. This card speaks about how important it is to see relationships as they really are, rather than how you'd like them to be. This is not always an easy or comfortable thing to do. However, in order to make correct decisions in a relationship, you must be clear about it. Are you maintaining the status quo even though the current situation may not meet your needs? Are you at an emotional impasse in a matter of the heart? At this time, you may be withdrawing emotionally from a relationship or the need to make a decision regarding that relationship. This does not serve your best interests. You must open your eyes and your heart to the truth. By honestly assessing the situation, you'll know just what you need to do. Knowing the truth will make your decision easier and will lead you to more fulfilling relationships. Okay, so um, this is all about, uh, I mean, this is a powerful message, a uh, very heavy message, though, um, because uh, if, if you remember that in the Two of Swords, 
she's crossing her heart with the swords and her she's blindfolded so she's refusing to see she knows what she needs to do but she's at an impasse because she's refusing to make a decision and so you very much are in the same situation this month Fargo where you know what you need to do to move forward and I, I eventually do see you moving forward but um, for the time being um, you are refusing to really see those relationships that are significant to you right now for what they are uh, and with regards to matters of your heart um, you know you are starting to open up I feel a little bit um, and starting to acknowledge but um, you are you have not seen yet with your third eye you have not activated that center yet and um, I feel that instead of just moving forward so quickly um, and needing to control the situation you really do need to sit down with your partner or if you are not with a partner then you need to really see things as they really are is this person meeting my needs um, how do I feel when I'm with this person am I uh, blocking myself some, somehow um, or am I uh, in this relationship for the right reasons even you know those are some of the questions that I guess I guess come to mind here um, and uh, so open your eyes try and see things as clearly as they are you know without illusion and then make your decision and make and be fair about it communicate what you see communicate how you feel you know try and be as upright and honest about your relationships as you can at this time and that will serve your highest purpose you know that will really take you the furthest and ensure that you can heal from these past wounds um, so that's all I have for you today Virgo um, be sure to give me a thumbs up if you like this reading leave me comments I read all my comments um, sh like share this video subscribe if you haven't already and thank you so much for tuning in um, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of March and I look forward to seeing you soon Bye-bye.